have a stripy scarf and a bowler hat, then either you're an extremely misguided World War I pilot, or perhaps, just perhaps, you're some kind of avant-garde musician. Sacadeus van Beethandel Korsakoff, the third. The music sequencer object will let you compose anything from a ditty to a symphony right here inside Little Big Planet. So why not select one now? Go on, maestro. It's in the music sequencer section of the audio objects page. Here, you place instruments to create your cacophony, uh, your masterpiece. These instruments also live in the music sequencer section of the audio objects page. So select one now. Tweak the instrument to rewrite its libretto, so to speak. Each instrument contains a pattern, so let's get composing quick sharp. Move the cursor around with the left stick. and place down new notes with the action button. Up and down on the right stick will change the volume of the note. Left and right will change its timbre, the unique color of the instrument. It's R1 and L1 to lengthen or shorten your notes. And R2 and L2 to skip forwards or backwards eight steps. Like everything else in Poppet, you can undo and redo with the left and right buttons. Most importantly, the up button will let you preview your Meisterwerk. Or pre-hear, I suppose. Just as I had feared, I've heard more musical steak dinners. Go oh, compose yourself. Perhaps the muse is absent today. Once you're done, why not tweak the instrument by tapping the menu button? Have a fiddle with some of the options. They'll allow you to change parameters such as the key and the scale this pattern plays in. Once you're happy, place your instruments on the music sequencer's circuit board in any order you choose. It could be either chin-strapingly sensible or brain-bendingly atonal. You are composer, conductor, and that person who stands at the back and plays the triangle all in one. It's up to you. If you tweak the music sequencer, you can adjust properties of the whole piece. The volume, Tempo. Even how much swing to put in its step. That's quite enough of that. Let's have a listen. Something to blow your own trumpet about? Is, uh, is something broken? Like your ears?
Now, a certain someone may have told you a Porky Pete when he said that sliced bread was the bestest thing ever. Because, old sackmate, the sequencer is even bester, and that's science fact. You'll find it in the advanced logic section of your tools bag, just waiting to do your bidding in an orderly, timely, and extremely efficient fashion. Get one out now, I dare you. Tweak the sequencer, and you can change its name, its trigger region, whether it loops or not, and, most importantly, you can change the sequencer's speed, which is measured in Cosmos standard metric poppet blocks per second. Best attach that button to the sequencer's input. Righto. You can place almost any object on a sequencer, so why not start with a battery? You never need to worry about setting those pesky timings or get in a flap about difficult things like numbers. Oh no. Simply resize the battery using up and down on the right stick to represent the time you want it to remain active. Or, why not try a timer? Set this one to forwards-backwards and resize it to one Cosmos standard metric poppet block. The sequencer has a playhead that moves forward according to the sequencer's speed. You can reposition it by pressing the square button. Any object underneath the playhead behaves as predictably as dear old Susan sitting in my breakfast on a Sunday morning. The battery remains on. A timer will run and... Oh! I nearly forgot. Go on, then. Everything behaves very predictably. Before I go and clean my cereal from Susan's whiskers, and hopefully not her bottom, I'll tell you a little secret about movie cameras. You don't need to set hold times or transition times on a movie camera when it's on a sequencer. Resize a movie camera to set the time it is active like anything else, but Overlapping two cameras sets the transition time. How quickly to move from one to another. It's more Marvy than a goat in a monocle. Now, I think that... Su Susan! What are you... Oh, perhaps I should just eat toast. <laughs> 